morning, there's disturbing details about some car break ins in a neighborhood in Baltimore. Several people apparently been finding blood on or even inside their cars. We have Deb and Martin is Aaron McPherson live in that neighborhood Bolton Hill this morning. Good morning, Aaron. What's going on out there? Good morning, Christian. Well, it's not exactly what people want to see when they come out to their cars to find blood on and inside some of those vehicles, especially during a global pandemic. Now, it happened specifically in the Bolton Hill neighborhood where I am right now. I'm at the intersection of Wilton and Bolton Streets, and that's where those reports have been. Now, most of the cars were locked, so the blood was on the outside of those vehicles, but some of the cars were unlocked, so there was blood then inside, and some minor things were taken from ins inside of those vehicles as well. Well, now a similar incident happened to a woman about a month ago near East Landville and Charles Street. Police haven't released if these crimes are related. Now, Brittany Elizabeth Williams was surprised to hear it happened again. Her car was actually broken into and she says she immediately deep cleaned her car when she found the blood. First of all, it took me like almost a week to get back in my own car. I was really freaked out by the idea of it. When I finally did, um, just really grossed out to be honest. I used gloves, used a lot of bleach. When I finished, I just took bleach and put it in a spray bottle and just <laughs> let loose everywhere. Several residents in the Bolton Hill neighborhood posted pictures on social media telling people to lock their car doors and just to be on high alert and no arrests have been made in this case. Police are asking anyone who did find blood in their cars or do have any break ins to file a report online. Live in Baltimore, Aaron McPherson, WMAR 2 News.